This video is so long, I wanted to give you guys a quick summary of what's in store. So today I am breaking down our home renovation sort of wish list and sharing some of the projects that we've already initiated. I'm finishing up my mom's bathroom and sharing a comprehensive before and after, updates on my Connie Corso Sansa, my lower body at home workout routine, some home decor items that I purchased, and lots of Annie Boo Boo. So let's get into the vlog. <laughs> Hey guys, you're watching my real life vlogs. Welcome back, welcome back. So as promised in my last vlog, we're going to pick up where we left off. So I am actually on my way over to my mom's to go ahead and finish organizing her bathroom. So I'm gonna bring you guys along for that because I know a lot of you kind of wanted to see how we were going to approach that. I need to pick up Anne really soon here, but I need to fill y'all in on a couple of things. So I have the home improvement itch once again. I guess it'll just never go away with me. I guess it's just who I am. So my husband and I have been um, in talks about some things that we're going to be doing around here. Some things are going to be kind of massive and some things are really small. So kind of starting out, you guys, my um, skin right here is a little bit irritated, so I have Aquaphor on it. In my last vlog, I was telling you guys that I had an allergic reaction to something. I still don't know what it is. So my eye had gotten really, really swollen. I'll insert a photo so you guys can see how severe it was. It was kind of scary. That's the most swollen my, air, my eye has ever been. Anyway, y'all, okay. So there's some stuff I wanna do in the house. I'm definitely going to save some of the more DIY-ish projects for a housework video, because I do wanna share with you guys what I'm doing because it might interest you, might give you some ideas, you know how I do. But some major projects that we need to do right away is we need to replace all the windows in the freaking house, like every single window. I'm not gonna touch the basement just yet because I'll save that for the basement renovation, but we need to replace these windows, you guys. Most of the windows in the house are original to the house, so you can just imagine how badly they need to be replaced. And the ones that were replaced recently, I really just don't like what was chosen for the windows. Like, you know, we didn't do the replacement, the previous owners did, and I just don't like the style of window. I don't like the finish that they chose. So even though they're new, <laughs> we're taking them out. I can't live with them. So we're doing that as soon as possible. I'm gonna wait for the weather to get warmer because I don't want holes in the wall when it's cold. So I'm gonna wait until it gets warm. But first thing in the spring, we're replacing all of the windows. So that's one thing. The other thing that we are definitely going to do is um, start kind of addressing like the exterior aesthetics. So you guys know when we first moved in here, we had replaced the front door, the garage door, but we need to address the bricks because they're looking a little old and it's kind of like starting to bother me. So we're thinking we'll probably just do some exterior painting and I'm probably gonna use the same guys that we used for the interior because they are geniuses when it comes to this paint stuff. So we're probably gonna have them come and do that. We're replacing the exterior like lights. I don't know what else, how else to describe them. Like the lanterns, they're, like, they're kind of like sconces up against the house. So we went to Menards last night and found some lights that we think will work really, really well for our exterior aesthetic, namely because it matches our door pretty closely. I don't know if you guys ever noticed, but our front door has like this kind of glass and then it has like the iron decorative element like inside the glass, which we got because we wanted to kind of accentuate the iron balusters on our staircase. So the light kind of looks like that. Do you guys want to see it? All right, I'll show it to you. <laughs> They're out in the garage. Okay, so these are the lights. And as you guys can see, it kind of has that textured glass or whatever. So I think that that will really complement the door. And I like the modern sleek style of it. I like the fact that it's black and not that like bronzed, you know, finish because that gives off brown in certain lighting. So this is straight black to really match the iron that is in between the glass panes on the front door. So I think this will look really nice. And it's nice and modern and all that. So that's why I'm really excited to paint because I feel like it's really going to give the whole house a complete facelift and then when we replace the windows it's just going to look so good really excited about replacing those lights we have we've needed to do that for a while but there was just so many other projects that took precedent over that so we had to kind of prioritize but i just feel like being in the house all winter you guys and also with like the pandemic so it's been a lot of like me walking around and looking at things and being like I'm not 100% happy with this. Like, you know, and really having to like figure out how to fix it and when is the best time to fix it. So there's a lot of projects that I'm wanting to do. I have a DIY project I wanna do in the kitchen and I'm really excited about it, you guys. I'm, it's probably the craziest idea ever, but I'm gonna try it. I have confidence in my skills. 
So I'm going to run the idea by my dad just to get a general idea of like what he thinks as far as like whether or not this is doable. And then if he says it could work, I'm doing it. And I know I have been talking a lot about us finishing our basement. You guys, our basement has um, some small issues that have to be addressed before we could ever think about finishing it down there. There's some water leakage happening when we have like really heavy rain. So we have to have that addressed first. And that has been on hold, first of all, because of the pandemic. And then the winter came, so everything's all frozen, so we can't really address it through the winter. What I do like is that we've had a lot of time to really think about how we want the basement to be. So it will be happening soon. I just really don't know when. There's also some other little things that we have been kind of talking about, me and my husband, that we wanna do to improve the look of our house. But I'll wait until those ideas are more solidified before I share them here. So I am gonna go ahead and get moving so I can pick up Ann. I need to get a car wash. My car is so dirty, but I'm gonna wait until I get Ann because she loves the car wash. So I wanna take her when we do it. Anyway, let's go. Look, Ann. <laughs> She's chilling with her shoes off. She loves it. <laughs> okay, headed into this place. All right, it looks like Target had everything we needed.
we're moments away from being finished. <laughs> that, that calls for a body roll, okay? This did not take as long as you would think because of the fact that my mom pretty much had everything already categorized. So it was just a matter of throwing away stuff that was expired, no longer being used, clutter, cleaning everything up and just putting everything in a specific place and making it easy for her to find stuff and also easy for her to maintain this new setup. So I'm gonna walk you guys through everything that we did. Looks really, really good. I love seeing this counter be more clear. And so let me tell you guys what we did over here in this corner. So she already had this tray. You guys remember that tray that was sitting here. It was filled with all types of stuff. We added this fake grass plant that we got from Target. I added a candle, which I thought would be a really nice touch. And you guys, this one smells really, really good. This basket that she already has sitting here, we just kind of turned it upright and filled it with some hand towels. We just kind of rolled them up. You guys know how I do with the rolled up hand towels. That's my thing. So I wanted to give it kind of more of a spa-like vibe. I brought in this diffuser that she had in another area of the apartment and this two-tiered display thing here, right? We got this from the bathroom section in Target. I had the idea that we would just display some of her makeup brushes and some of her high-end fragrances. And I think that it turned out really cute, you guys. Like it's a great way to kind of show off your fragrances, but also really awesome to have them at arm's reach so they're right here when you need them and then some of her existing decor because she loves red we had to keep kind of the cranberry look going on over here let me know what you guys think of the countertop okay now let's go ahead and take a look at what we did with the cabinets and drawer storage so this first drawer you guys remember what this looked like when we first got started we decided to make this her oral drawer so toothbrushes toothpaste dental hygiene accessories and supplies and things you guys I really love these little compartments they fit perfectly and they don't move around as you can see because they're in there pretty tight and that's why I always like to measure first to make sure that things are going to fit in terms of the depth you guys see how spot on the depth is you can't get that kind of accuracy without measuring first so I'm glad we did as the drawer opens and closes they won't be like sliding all around everywhere so I love that in this cabinet underneath we decided to move all of her hair products to this one. We got this basket from Target and then these baskets came as sets, these gray ones, and we got all that from at home. So all of her oils are at the top and all of her shampoo, conditioner, leave-ins, and styling products are down here. In this top drawer, kind of her intimate skincare, you know, quick reach type of products. We have a little nail caddy here. We got some razors here. We got some skincare. We even have a little caddy for safety pins, right? This is one of my favorites, these little caddy knickknack holders. They're so perfect for keeping like little small tidbits. We even have some easy access cotton balls here. In this second drawer, we have her hair styling tools. So we have her jumbo detangling combs here, some of the more practical combs, brushes, bobby pins and clips, and some hair ties. And then in this last drawer, we have some heat styling tools, some makeup products in her makeup bag. And you guys, you know, this is the most exciting part. We have some bags that are empty. So I love seeing that because then if she acquires more, she has somewhere to put it. And this is how you keep clutter down. So I love that we have a lot of space to work with here. And then finally, you guys remember what this cabinet space looked like. She had a lot of hair products just kind of all pushed in here. Nothing was really organized and you know, she really couldn't find anything. I mean, it was categorized, but it wasn't organized. We were able to really, really take control of this space and give everything its own home. So I'm most excited and proud of what we did under here, you guys. So what we've done here is just made it easy for her to get to everything. She knows exactly where everything is. And you guys, my favorite part about these little pullout drawers 
drawers, you guys, are these insertable tabs that you can put basically anywhere inside of this caddy that you want. So you can create little compartments to fit exactly what you need. It feels like she can be in control of exactly where and what she wants to put in here. And it just makes it so easy to stay organized and to stay on top of your belongings. So I really, really love that. So up top here, we just have some feminine skin products, different intimate fragrances and things. And then down here we have some intimate products and some first aid type of products as well. Over here we have bars of soap and some hair rollers. And up top we have skin cleansing products and lotions and soaps. And then in the back, you guys back there, I don't know if you guys can see, but that's where a lot of the cleaning products are for the bathroom. So she won't be reaching for those as often as her beauty and hair products. What we really tried to do was make as much use out of the space as we could. So I didn't want to leave any emptiness. And these drawers are great for like really small items that you need to store, like little headbands and things of that nature. Bonnets and shower caps can go in there just really small things that you don't want to get lost in all the chaos of a lot of the larger items so you are done honey i am very very um pleased with um, <laughs> the outcome like for real i'm gonna be in the bathroom all night like it's really nice we were talking about um how she'll use the space now is now she has more room and she has a place for everything i'm like the possibilities are endless when you know where all your stuff is and I think this is really cute, this area here with the little marble. I didn't even realize that it had like that marble pattern to it. it. I love this. It turned out really good. It looks so much nicer. And you're going to leave your fragrances in here, right? Absolutely. It's so much easier. You know, you're just in the mirror yeah, getting dressed. Yeah, yeah. You know? Really, so yeah, we, we cleaned. We cleaned the mirrors. We cleaned the surfaces and everything. So, I mean, you are you are good to go. You, it's, I'm ready. You are on and popping. You going to do a toast for the people? Definitely want to do a toast. <laughs> I don't have anything to do a toast with, but we'll just say toast to a beautifully um, uh, revamped bathroom, new to organization. To organization, for real. Toast to organization. Getting it done. This did not take that long, y'all. I mean, how long was I here? Maybe 40 minutes in here like doing this extra work. I mean, the planning and the shopping for everything you need, that's what takes the most time. But actually getting it done and throwing stuff out, psh, that didn't take long. Well, that didn't take you long, but I would have been like, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, another month. I had to, I had to throw all the expired stuff away. I showed you everything I threw away. I wasn't going to do you like that. I showed you everything I threw away. But I didn't need to see it because I was like, mom, yeah. this is, it was stuff that I gave her. So I knew how old it was. <laughs> okay, you know what I mean? I knew how old. I'm like, Let's I gave you this out. four years ago. We throwing this out. But um, you know how it is when you put something away and then you don't look at it for a while. It's easy to forget that you even have it. Yeah. So it's not as though you were using expired stuff. You just really didn't know it was in there. Because it was like... And, and, and it, it was just collecting dust. Yeah. You know, I have my products that I use and I just push those to the back. I don't know. Yeah. Just And it wasn't, like y'all saw, like it was just a lot of stuff piled up. But it wasn't like nasty. It wasn't like... Just chaos be. it was just because you were functioning in it like you knew where everything was you knew but <laughs> low-key low hoarder but not, <laughs> not you know bathroom hoarder. i don't know bathroom hoarder <laughs> that's probably a specific condition because <laughs> the bathroom is a very special place like right you know it's really I, intimate I, I keep little things you know little bar soaps or whatever but right yeah, it's, it's so much, it's on so the much it, yeah the little... she travels a lot and so she keeps the soaps from the hotel and she was just she had a drawer like hoarding them they were like underneath some stuff and i was finding them like and you also keep little sample perfumes from like the um perfume counters when they give you the samples you keep those you, you didn't throw those away did you when they got <laughs> I mean, you have, you have a lot of perfume already. I know, but I, I like the, the samples. You know, I think when they give the samples, <clears throat> she takes them because she's like, oh, for sure, I can just put this in my car or my bag and I'll use it later. I, and it I, ends I up like in to, a drawer in the bathroom. Right, I, but I do like to, to smell them because a lot of yeah. times um, I do uh, switch, you know, right. and I try the fragrance once I smell it. Yeah, but, yeah. You got um, some good stuff, though. This bottle is refillable. So oh, that's why okay. I like it. Just take that off. Oops. Yeah. So, anywho, you and your red, mom. <laughs> you love your red. Uh, and cranberry. Cranberry. And All right. Well, um, we're done in here, <laughs> um, and we're gonna get ready to go because you know we gotta go to bed and stuff, and went to sleep, you guys. So I gotta try to 
get her coat and stuff on her and get her to the car. And my eye, as an update, is feeling a lot better and it healed up a lot more. So, um, the Aquaphor work. You got some Aquaphor down there too. Yeah, you got some. Mm. Going through all of her stuff, I know everything she has now. <laughs> something about that that makes me feel good just like knowing that you got everything you need in here like for like beauty Pretty and much, my, um, too products. much I had excess but you know that's how you do sometimes gotta make sure mom is stocked on hair products y'all all these hair products in here I gave her all this stuff you didn't really buy none of this stuff nobody in my family has to buy hair products that's for sure okay we're leaving All right, good morning, you guys. Let me take this off. <laughs> Can't even hear myself. Good morning, it's the next day. I'm starting off my day with a quick workout. And by quick, I mean probably like 45 minutes. Sansa is chilling with me. She just came back in from outside, so she is uh, destroying my floors. <laughs> so I haven't been to a gym in about a year. Not quite a year, but I have not been to my gym. I don't really plan on going back anytime soon because I'm not comfortable wearing a mask while working out. So basically, I've just been kind of trying to figure out creative ways of working out at home. And I've been taking my fitness routine to the next level. I have really been challenging myself. I have been really sticking to, you know, a five day a week workout regimen. Just really trying to see some results. So. Let me show you guys my little setup for today. I wonder if Sauce is gonna allow me to work out. But anyway, so this is my leg day setup, you guys, right? So I'm gonna do some circuits, and I kinda just made this up. I'm gonna start it off doing a little jump rope for one minute. Then I'm gonna come over here and grab my two 20-pound dumbbells, and I'm gonna go up the stairs. Once I get to the top right there, I'm going to do 15 um, deadlift type squats. And then I'm going to carry the dumbbells and bring them right back down. Sansa's demonstrating. <laughs> Once I get here, I'm gonna do some um, single leg squats using that bottom stair. I don't even know what the technical name of that is, but I'm gonna do five on each leg. And then I'm gonna take the dumbbell, one of them, and come back here and do some kettlebell swing type of squats. So that's gonna be my little circuit. I'm gonna do it three times. Now this jump rope in the foyer type of thing is wild as hell. I would not recommend it, but I don't wanna work out in the basement with this particular workout because I wanna use the staircase. Okay, all done. That ended up being 45 minutes. So that was a pretty good workout. One of the things that I've been doing um, to improve my fitness routine is to focus on muscle groups. My five day uh, working out week will start Monday with cardio and I'll do the treadmill, but I'm not just doing like my usual like steady pace three mile run. I'm actually not even running three miles anymore. I'm running like a mile and a half and I'm actually doing one of the endurance workouts that came on the treadmill. So it's this thing of like running on an incline. That incline is like 7.0, so it's like this. I'm running like six miles per hour on the thing, but it's also fluctuating between four miles per hour, five miles per hour, three miles per hour where I'm kind of walking. And after only 20 minutes, I am dripping with sweat, um, more so than any three mile run I can do. So. I'll probably start back with my 5K runs, which is the 3.1 milers. I'll probably start back with that when the weather gets warmer because I really enjoy doing that outside. And in this area, we have some really nice trails and forest preserves. So I'll probably 
get back to it um, when the weather breaks. But Tuesday is um, my like core day where I do like ab work and stuff like that. But I'm kind of moving away from that. The more I learn about fitness and like total body fitness, that I don't actually have to focus on my abs, but rather engage my core when I'm doing any exercise. Wednesday is upper body day. So like my arms and stuff. And then Thursday, like today is lower body. And then Friday, I end the week with another cardio session. And I do that on my bike downstairs. So we have a um, Nordic track, whatever it is. Um, it's kind of similar to the Peloton. I, you guys are probably more familiar with the Peloton. It's kind of the same thing. That's my work week. I've been doing this now for almost three weeks. So it's kind of become like a habit at this point. But most of all though, when I look in the mirror, I see changes. Like I can see my abs really coming in, like my obliques and everything getting really pronounced. I can feel the difference and strength when I do just everyday activities, especially through my work and I'm able to power through it a lot better. Like I'm doing more push-ups now and, and push-ups were like one of my weak points. I'm like hitting that shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm handling the 20 pound weights, like I'm throwing them up in the air, like what is going on? So I can feel the difference. But for me, it's about feeling better, you know, getting my mental better, not being so stressed, lessening my anxiety so that I can focus, be happier, have a better mood, get more done, and just have a better attitude towards the things that I'm doing. So that's what it was all about for me. And then I look in the mirror and I'm like, okay, <laughs> I feel good. I feel like I look good, so that helps too. So I'm saying that to say this for anyone out there, you're struggling with your weight, you're struggling with your body, you just don't feel like yourself and you want to get back to a place of fitness and ability this is your time it's only been three weeks for me so far and i feel tremendous okay i feel colossal like big big major differences it never hurts to just try even if you do a little bit a day some days you guys like i know i said i work out five days a week but some days i only work out for 20 minutes you know i'll pull up one of the youtube um fitness chicks and do like a 20 minute booty, a 20 minute ab, 15 minute upper body, and then I'll be done. So it's not about, you know, training for the Olympics. You know, you don't have to push yourself over the edge if you don't want to. Pushing yourself is good, but if you don't want to, if you feel like you can't, you don't have to. Just do something. So I'm about to make my smoothie right fast. like ice cream this is good so yeah you guys all the puppies are gone the house is empty we only have one dog again and it feels so crazy we knew that this day would come I just it just seems like it came so quick you know so yeah when the last puppy left Sansa was running around the house I think she was trying to look for them because she was kind of frantic and she was moving really fast. She was sniffing around and just trying to find where they went because she she could smell them all over. She's much better now, like she's been fine all day, but it was kinda, yeah, it's, it's, it was kinda different. I've never experienced that before. You guys know this was my first time ever being hands-on as a breeder, uh, dealing with a dog having puppies and having to sell them and whatever, whatever. So that was my first time experiencing that. This was brand new to me. Um, but like I told Anthony, I don't ever want to do this again. Let me bring y'all closer. So I'm just laying on me. But I am glad that we got to experience it with her. Got to see what her little offspring were like and what they would look like and how they would be. She really had a champion litter, you guys. Like, they were all really beautiful, highly sought after pups. But I'm just kind of glad that things are back to normal with just us and Sansa. And she has the house to herself again and she doesn't have to worry about the puppies. She just can think about herself and us now. So I guess that's the silver lining to it all. But like I said, she's all lovey-dovey now and things are kind of back to normal and she seems calm. I think that was just her initial reaction to um, have, you know, that moment where all the puppies are gone. I think that's what she was kind of reacting to. But I think she's happy to be back. I think she's happy to be back to normal. So we gotta get the basement back together get all that whelping stuff out of there reintroduce Sansa into the family you know because she was away from us for so long because she 
didn't want to be away from the pups and she couldn't be technically so she was just kind of in the basement for a long time and just focusing all her attention on the pups so now she's back focusing her attention on us so no my mom did not take um one of the puppies she didn't end up getting one um and we ended up not keeping one obviously we decided against it because you know, I just feel like for Sansa to go through everything she went through, uh, we owe it to her to just restore the norm around here and give her everything she deserves and focus on her. I didn't want to add another dog to the mix and then she have to um, sacrifice and share her space with another big old big head dog. So we ended up not uh, keeping the one for Mentino and that owner is very happy to be getting him. So yeah. And Sansa's snapback game is coming strong. Um, now that she is not, you know, having to nurse anymore or anything, her nipples have started to kind of shrink back in. I don't know if they will ever go as flat as it was before because they still kind of hang a little bit. But they've gone in a significant amount. You got the hiccups, girl. She is looking strong and healthy as ever. She's looking really, really good, you guys. You giving me Paul? You giving me Paul, girl? So I just can't wait till we can get back outside and exercise again. Ba. No, Ann. Ba, 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 ba. Come on. Ba, ba, ba. What are you doing, Ann? Yeah. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Come on. She's trying to get me to go downstairs for something. I don't know what it is. Want a snack, Ann? You want to get on my back? We're still doing this. <laughs> You want to get on my back, mommy? We are still doing this. Okay. Get down. Get down, mommy. That's the end of the ride. That's the end of the ride, Ann. We did get this package from DreamWorks. It's a new show streaming on Peacock. I haven't heard of this. I don't even... I didn't know they were sending this. But it's a... It with a bunch of stuff. Archibald's next big thing is here. Okay, so this is Archibald. I know for a fact Ann will like this. She likes things she can wiggle. This is cute and fun. I'll show her that. But you guys, I just got back from Ann. What are you doing? Give me my jump rope. Thank you. Anyway, I just got back from um, Home Goods. Cause I had a little itch and I was like what if what if I got some art for this wall right here and you know what I wasn't even thinking about any art for this wall but when I saw this big old canvas I thought it would kind of fit perfectly right here and honestly the dimensions are perfect I'm just not sure about the art itself because I don't know anything about art I don't know anything about decorating so I was kind of unsure but we're gonna try it I showed my sister a picture and she really liked it so we're gonna try it I like how it's kind of sketched it looks cute. So while I roll this back up, I don't know why Ann insists on messing with my things. I don't know why she's messing with my things. I'm waiting for my mom to come over because she and I are gonna run to Menards really quick because I gotta get some uh, home improvement DIY supplies, just a few little things that I want to grab so I can start on these little projects around here. So I'm waiting for my mom to get here. She's gonna come with me. And I think we're gonna wait for Anthony to get home before we leave because we kind of don't want to take Ann. She's not the biggest fan of home improvement stores. <laughs> Ann, come on, let's go back upstairs, mommy. So I'm head back upstairs. Come on, mommy. I'm gonna show you guys later in the vlog what that picture looks like up on the wall. I'm gonna go ahead and mount it just to see. I figure if I don't like it, I can just take it back. And it's just gonna be one hole in the wall because it's a very like simple mount in the the, the art itself is not really heavy. So if I don't like it, I'll probably just end up covering it with the next art that I get, or I'll just have to repair the wall. It's, all of that is simple steps. Mary had a little lamb. Mary had a little lamb. She was just singing it. <laughs> you were just singing it, Ann. It's cracker time. Some of her leftovers from school. Plus some extra sniggity snacks. Ann has been a really big girl with drinking her water. Such a big girl. Such a big girl. <laughs> and her outfit, you guys, is from Walmart. 
I went and got a bunch of like comfy school clothes for her this past week and we have been loving it everything they got cute little mask sets and stuff so we really racked up and I just like getting her like these comfy sets because when she's at school it's kind of the equivalent to her like playing in her playroom at home because it's kind of the same setup so I like her to be comfy so she's comfy in her little pullover sweaters and leggings okay it's up I didn't bore y'all with the details of how, but it was real simple though. It's a real lightweight art piece. So I got it up there with a couple of hooks and this is what it looks like. I tried to center it from like the tops of the pillows and then like the top of that door right there just to kind of really get it right in the center. So hopefully I did okay, but it's definitely level. You guys know how I am with my little level. So yeah, I'm just trying to get a feel for it. My mom said this looks like me when I have my braids. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not why I got it. I got it because it looks so simple and it was like kind of artsy, mellow like me and my style and really kind of complements like the bookshelves and the whole like vibe of like this being like a low key chill family room, like nothing too major, but yet still kind of fun because it is kind of like a sketch. Anne is feeling it. She came diving in. <laughs> so yeah, and I like the raw wood on the frame because it kind of accentuate some of the raw wood in this wine bar over here and it looks good on that repost gray paint and all that so yeah that's that and then let me show you guys what I got upstairs I was up here trying on bathing suits I ordered some stuff from pretty little thing and my mom is here too I don't know if I mentioned that but my mom just arrived so this is what I got for up here a nice plant a nice fake plant for this corner and I almost bought some art to put on this wall right here like I'm thinking I want two but I couldn't decide and I kept second-guessing myself so I ended up just putting it all back <laughs> but I had the cart full of artwork pieces but I put it back I was like yeah I'll wait so it's got the white pot the moss and all the green my mom is here she's downstairs hiding <laughs> whoopsie I forgot to vlog but we did have dinner and now it's bath time, Anna's in the bath, getting ready for bed. I am tired, she's tired, we're all tired. <laughs> okay, time for bed. Mm. Somebody's not too happy about it. No, you're not getting the iPad. Come on, you're not getting it. She knows I put it up there. You're not getting it, come on, come on. I know you'd rather sing songs, but we gotta go to bed, okay? Come on, up you go. You ready? You ready to go night night? <laughs> Hi everyone! I can't say good morning because it's like 2.15 in the afternoon, but hey, hey! The last time I talked to you guys was last night. And um, I haven't checked back in with you guys today yet at all, but I figured I'd pop in right quick, get you guys caught up. Just got home from a doctor's appointment. I am cooking myself something to eat. I had breakfast, but um, it's now in the afternoon and I haven't eaten anything since breakfast, so it's time for me to eat. I'm fixing one of these little meals. Let me show y'all. Revive Superfoods, I'm a new customer. Well, I'm partnering with the company. They want me to tell you guys about the stuff, but um, I really like it so far. I wanna show you guys a little bit more in depth about how all this works and everything, but since I am mentioning it, I do have a 55% off code that you guys can use if you're interested, but they just make like smoothies and a bunch of like really like convenient little healthy meals. Gluten-free, dairy-free, you know, no refined sugar, plant-based, that kind of stuff. So I'm using the one today that you put in the pan. It's only supposed to cook for like two minutes and then I'll have a meal really quickly because I have to get out of here fast. I gotta get out of here in like 15 minutes to pick up Ann from therapy and I don't wanna be late. So yeah, I'll put the link below with my discount code. It's Miss Von TV 55 so you guys can save money if you wanna try it. But I got a bunch of their products in my freezer. Y'all wanna see? Boom, boom, boom. Bunch of the smoothies and all that stuff, they got the super meals, they got the oats and things. So all other meals are in there. Looks pretty good. Tastes good too, you guys. Wow. Okay, trying to hurry up. I gotta leave out soon, but it's pretty good, you guys. This is the pomegranate one. I must say, I don't really care for the little pomegranate seeds. They're hard to eat, you know, you have to bite down on them. But overall, the flavor is really good. 
and I love the convenience. So I get these delivered now to my house. And I think I got nine of them in my last shipment, which came last night. I didn't show you guys, but it came last night. Yeah, they pack it really good with the dry ice and all that. I'm really excited today though, because the electrician is supposed to be coming to put the lanterns on the front of the house. So I'm really excited to see how that's gonna turn out. You guys might hear the salsa down there barking. I had to put her in the basement while I went to my doctor's appointment. So I'm gonna let her out because I know she is ready to hang out. <laughs> um, I've been giving Sansa a lot of extra attention these days because I feel like she might need it after like not being around her little miniature friends that all went away. So I feel like she might be going through something emotionally. So I'm just giving her a lot of extra love and attention. So yeah, I'm gonna finish this and I'm gonna go get Anne. Ready? Here, we need soap. Here, we need soap. Ready? Here, rinse. <laughs> you see the camera in? She's starting to recognize the camera. And be like, oh, you filming me, girl? <laughs> you give daddy some kisses? You giving daddy kisses? You giving daddy, you can't do that to daddy. <laughs> you can't step on daddy. <laughs> You give daddy a high five? Yeah. She's trying to step all over you. Oh. And you can't do this to daddy. No. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome back to the most random vlog ever. <laughs> Most random vlog ever. Okay, we're up and we got new lights on the house. <laughs> so yeah, we had our electrician pay us a visit last night and he went ahead and helped us get those lights up on the outside of the house, those sconces, those lanterns. They look really, really good. I'm gonna show them to you guys. The bad news is that one of the lights, you guys know, always with some home renovation stuff, there's always something that doesn't work out so one of the lights, we could not um, figure out why it wasn't working because actually it wasn't working even when we bought this house. So the guy is probably going to have to try to do some more troubleshooting and things. Um, it's not, it didn't happen last night because we ran out of time. We ran out of daylight, but it's going to happen in the next couple of days. But yeah, he has to figure out a power source because obviously the one for that light has failed. So, and we don't know what well, it could have been a botched renovation job from the previous folks who lived here or what. So it's gonna take some troubleshooting, but we're going to figure it out. But I wanna show y'all what he did so far. lights look really good I like them what do y'all think I think it works really well with like 
the exterior of our house. Love that it matches with the door. And it's just really good. I just hope we can get that fourth light in properly. But yeah, that's the thing about buying a house that is not brand new because you really don't know what the previous owners tried to do in terms of like upgrading or renovating. Sometimes people hire like inexperienced or unqualified people to do different home renovation jobs and then something's messed up and then you have to inherit that screw up. So hopefully we can fix it. But the thing about it is anything can be fixed. It may be an inconvenience, but anything can be fixed. So it's not the end of the world if something like this were to happen. But yeah, you just have to be prepared for stuff like this as a homeowner, obviously. Okay, I done hijacked y'all's YouTubes long enough. We're gonna end this vlog here. <laughs> But I will see you guys later this week with a new video. So thanks for hanging. Love you guys. I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye.